hey guys this is E with scrapbooking with me and we're going to do the Roxy weekly challenge let me get these earbuds out of my ears or I'll be yelling at you instead of just talking okay so what she did this week was I'm going to go ahead and cut this off just so I can see what it looks like she did the little expandable I guess you could call them expandable pockets and she used some old letters that she had i don't really have any old letters and i didn't want to try to find something to some to print so i'm just going to use this book that one of you guys sent me and it is an old jack and the beanstalk book so i'm going to use it and then i may use some other stuff but um let me see what was i going to do I'm going to cut all of these edges off first, and then i got to find my phone so I can set my timer. Yeah, okay. Let's find my phone. Where's my phone? There it is. Okay. Let's set our timer. It should still be set on 45 minutes, and it is. So we're just going to go ahead and start it. I don't know how many of these I will get finished. <laughs> I always say that, don't I? <laughs> All right, so you need to fold it. I need to fold these where the wording will be up. And what she did was just fold it about like that. And let me take this out from under the bottom so you can see. And then she just took this top part and folded it back over. And then that makes all of your page the right way up. Now, I'm famous for not folding straight when I just do it like that. So, and I didn't fold that straight either. So that's going to be the part that's going to bug me more than anything. Because I cannot stand for that fold to be crooked. <laughs> I'll probably take more time folding these than I do anything else. Okay, that looks better. And then I'm just snipping off this, off this little end so that it doesn't... Uh, have that frayed part on it where I tore that or where somebody tore it out of a book it wasn't me okay let's see I always forget which side to start with fold it about right there and I even forget what she called these I'll have to go back and look at her video but you guys know what I'm talking about you know okay See if we got that straight and it doesn't look like we did. Okay, fold it that way. And she whipped out a bunch of these. I'm telling you, I don't know how she does it. She's so fast. She's very, very fast. As my, my little granddaughter used to say when she was little, she said, I have my fast shoes on. When she would be running fast, she'd say, I'd say, oh, you're fast. And she said, that's because I have my fast shoes on. So, R Roxy or Rachel, I should say, you have your fast shoes on, don't you? But she's always going 90 to nothing. There we go. I think these pages are going to be pretty. I was wondering if they were going to be, if they would work okay, but I think they're going to be pretty. We can always do some embellishing on the front. Okay. That looks pretty good. And, sorry, my phone is just going crazy today. And I just can't bring myself to turn it completely off because everybody's out of pocket today so everybody's gone in different directions so i always try to keep it on just in case somebody has some problems or somebody has a question so all right trim that off just a little bit right there hopefully that trimmed off straight pretty good now I'll tell you something else that I'm gonna use and I, if I get to it <laughs> I 
I'm going to use some paper out of this collection, and this is the new collection. Sorry about the glare. And it is from Prima, and it's called Nature Lover. This collection is beautiful, as you can see down through there. I'm going to flip through it real quick. I'm not going to take a lot of time with it, but look at that. It has the gold foiling on it. Of course, you get, I think, five sheets or four sheets of each. Look at that. It is just beautiful. There's all kinds of birds and butterflies in here that you could cut out if you wanted to. You could fussy cut all of those. All those butterflies, I mean birds. Look at that. I love the back part of that. That's pretty. So we're going to use this sheet. And what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to have to trim it across the top. And I'm going to have to pull out the big guns for that. Because this is a 12 by 12 pack. We do still have quite a few of these in stock if you want to grab one. I'll link them below. See, so you can even use that. Start it to throw away, but no, we're not going to throw it away either. And then I want to cut this in half because I'm going to make one that's just, I'm going to make two out of this. So two six inch ones, I think. Let's see. Let me think. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yes, okay. Alrighty, now let's see what this, okay, can't fold it that way, this way. Gotta fold it up this way. And see, this is gonna make some really cute ones, just the size to go in a journal. And let's see, this is a good, nice thick paper, so let's see if I can get it folded without making too big of an error. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. So all of these challenges and things, don't think you have to do them all out of, you know, book pages and things like that because you don't. You can use your pattern paper. This is a good way to use up some of that pattern paper that you and I both know that we hoard. I know I do. I've got some that I didn't even let Melina see because if I had to let Melina see it, she would have chopped it up or something. Okay, that looks straight enough, but you know it's still bugging me. I'll do it like that. Okay. All right, so we're going to start on this one. And now what we need to do is take some book pages. And with these book pages, what we do is, well, we're going to have to cut the ends off, I think, where I tore them out of the book. So let's do that. Lay that over there. All right, let's cut these ends off where I tore that out of the book because they're a little ragged. I wasn't careful when I was tearing. And yes, I put all of those in there at one time in my trimmer. It works fine. Now let's see if this is going to be tall enough or too tall. Well, I should have cut it off a little bit more. So let's trim them off a little bit more. They need to be... I'm going to trim it off right at the words there. I think that, that will work. And you know what that's good for? Stamping on. So we're going to lay that over there. Now let's see if this works. See if it's the right size. Alright, it's the right length and it's the right height now. So now let, let me think. What she did was put two like this. And you glue down here, up here, up there, I think. You know I have very little time to watch these videos. And I, I usually watch her the last thing at night. And 
Sometimes I fall asleep. Not that you're boring, Rachel, because you're not. It's just that by then I'm so tired I can't see straight. So I usually just fall asleep right in the middle of it. Oh, me. And I know a lot of people tell me that they watch me like that, too. They watch me late at night. And of course, they say that my voice is soothing. I can't even imagine. My voice has never seemed like to me it was soothing. But if it soothes you, then that's what matters. But um, I've had a lot of people say, I watch you late at night, and you just rock me right to sleep with your voice. So, and I think that's what Rachel does to me. I like her accent. I love Australian accent. And she still, even though she's been living in Italy a while, she still has that Aussie accent. It just comes out a little stronger every now and then. So all you're doing is gluing two of these book pages together at the bottom and down the sides. That's all we're doing. There we go. And I don't know how many I've got, so we'll just put a few of these together. We can always use them later. Because these are nice little expandable pockets to have. You know, I've made some before using some different things. I've not made any exactly like this. But they're nice to have. You can put ephemera in them or use them in your journals. Lots of different things. I'll put a few more together and then we'll start inserting them. Nope, we don't have one more. Okay, this should be enough right here. So we're going to start with this one. Now all she did was put two of these together like that. So we're going to put a little glue. Let's see, did she punch a little? I can't remember if she punched a tab in the top or not. I think we will on ours. I don't know. You just glue right in the middle. You don't glue all over. And then you're going to take this one and lay it right on top of that one. Like that. And just make sure that it's as even as possible. doesn't have to be perfect. And glue it down. Like that. Let's go ahead and punch a little pull here. And you know what? I think I'll try to punch them all at one time. That way I'll have them straight. Just, just let me make sure that I've got them turned the right way. Yeah. Let's see if we can punch them all at one time. I don't know if we can or not. I'm not going to break my punch. No, they're not going to all go in there. So let's try just a few.
Okay, and then we will lay these together with that, which is really not going to matter because they're not going to be in the same album, so I don't know what I'm worrying about. Let's just do this. And a couple here. Okay. All right, these are the two that I think I've already glued. Yes. I think I may have to make more. I don't think that's enough. All right, we're going to glue this. I'm going to lay it just like that. And I'm going to put a little glue right here. And then I'm going to lay that down, not going all the way to the bottom with it, and then press it. And then you're going to put some glue right here. I hope I'm doing this right. And then you're going to press this one over. Okay, let's see if that worked. Yes, look at there. See, you've got little pockets in there now. And I, mine's not completely dry, so we're not going to pull on it too hard. All right, and then we have to put some little, uh, we have to put some little eyelets in there. I had to go find my eyelets because the men had already taken them out of here. Just like I'm never going to do any more videos. Okay, that'll be two. Yeah, we're gonna have to put some more, get some more book pages. And that will be three. So I need more book pages. Let me grab this book. Oh. I think this is the book that I used. Is that the book I used? No, that's not the book I used. This is the book I used. So let's tear out some more pages. Oh, I got one there that's torn in half. We use that for something else. Maybe that will be enough. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these in since I've got them this far. And then we will put those other ones together because I have to trim those down. stuck together so we'll put that in here and you're just bringing it just right above that fold where you folded it you don't want it too close to that because then it's not going to fold up right that. Let's go ahead and chop some of these off. Oh, we got one right there, so we can go ahead and cut these off. And I'm just going to mark it where I need to cut it off so that I'll get them 
the same, hopefully. Where is my pencil? Right there. Okay. Okay. There we go. Can't get a hold of that one. So this is kind of a quiet job. I mean, it's just repetition, so not much to talk about. But you can make these as large or as small as you want and use them for, in lots of different ways. You know, we made a really large one of these and used napkin on the outside and then we used our used it to put some ephemera in and things that we had made for our journals storage so if you make these really big if you have some old scrap of paper that's 12 by 12 you could make some big ones and then store some of your uh, pages oh you could store some of your digitals in it i just thought about that that would be nice have have it all all your digitals separated That'd be pretty and very useful. Okay. Now, I think I've got three more of those folded, so I need one and that will be two i need a few more going to be one that will be two and this will be three so make sure I got the right the right end up go ahead and cut the top on these Now we need to glue these together. And we're ready to put it in here. Now she said as long as you got the uh, string on here, it was considered finished. So let's hope we can get a string on at least one of them. <laughs> two together I 
And I make sure that I glue really well at the top because that's the part that's going to have the pull on it when you open it up. So I put quite a bit of glue right at the top. Like that. that one a little bit. Let's make sure it falls. Yes, it does. All right. There's another. Did that one just backwards and then what I normally do so just flip it around like that and press that down that's a little bit tall on that one hmm oh well it'll work you, I could trim that off but I'm just gonna leave it because it still folds over now for these, we need to make some smaller, shorter pockets. Let's see. That'll be about the right height, but we need to cut them off about right there. And I'm gonna need one more page. grab my scissors and chop this off hopefully well I really need two more pages because I've got to do two of these or I need to do two okay whoops you know what I just knocked off the table? A big punch. I hope I didn't break it. If I did, I'm going to cry. Alright, there's one more. And there's another. just going to cut this with my scissors. I don't think I want to grab my trimmer again right now. It wasn't the punch that you got me, Molly. It was one of my big ones that I had here on my desk that I should have already taken off my desk and I didn't. All right, let's see if that'll punch through there. glue these down
Now, what's going to hold me up is when I start putting in the eyelets, probably. And you could use magazine pages for the inside of this. You don't have to use book pages if you don't want to. All right. Let's see how many, much time I've got. I may already be out of time. No, I'm not. I got 15 minutes. Okay. Open this up. We're almost there. Open this up. I think that's a pretty collection. I even love that inside right there. There we go. And you know what you could do on these? I'm not going to do it since she didn't, but you could uh, do a decorative cut right there on the edges of these. That would be pretty. All right, we've got to grab some eyelets. Let's see. And I'm not even going to worry about what color. I'm just going to grab an eyelet. I'm just going to guess at the center. That looks good right there. There we go. Close enough. Ooh, that one got a little bit off to the right there. We'll go with it anyway, even though it's a little bit off center. Oops! I think I turned that one wrong way. Yes, I did. I told you the eyelets would slow me down. That way. Now, that works. All right. You know what? I'm going to try this. Punch them all at one time. Put them all together. <laughs> See if this works. All right. That looks good right there. Yep. It worked. Now we can put those eyelets in that I can't ever grab a hold of. Okay. 
I don't even know what color I'm getting. I'm just grabbing one. Oh, I don't think that one worked. I don't think I got on top of it. Oh, that's a bad one. We're going to leave it. It'll work. All right, now we've got to do some string. And I think on some of them, I'm just going to do this plain white string. And then I will get some baker's twine for some of the other ones, maybe. Oops. Maybe I won't do this plain white string. It's spraying on me. And I think all she did was wrap it around like that and tie it, wasn't it? There's one. There we go. And we'll do that one as two. I'm gonna grab some baker's twine. It's right here. No, it's not. Never mind. I'm not gonna grab baker's twine. They have taken it out. Oh, okay. We'll use some of this too. My baker's twine. Those men. Oh, I know. We could use some of this. This is pretty. It's got all different colors in it, like the paper. But we use this. Oh yeah, I like that. So pull that down. Tie it. And I would definitely tie my knots a little better. With a little bit more time. production line <laughs> how many of you have ever worked on a production line before I have and it's no fun many many years ago when I was young and that was about the only kind of job you could find unless you had a big college degree and at that time I didn't have a college degree I was working on it so I worked on a production line and it was not fun. The person before me was like a streak of lightning. She could turn work out in no time. And I was a little bit slow. So we kind of had a little bit of an issue. I always got stockpiled on things and then she would have to come along and help me. And she didn't like that. She didn't like that so much, which I really can't blame her. All right, we're gonna use some of this string on this. I think this is pretty with this. Since my Baker's twine has been rolled out, yeah, that's pretty. There we go. And I don't even have another one to make, so I think we're gonna stop there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and I could probably, let's see how much time I've got. I got five more minutes. I could make a couple more, but I'm not. I'm going to just fix these a little bit, fix my bows so they don't look so bad. Yeah, I like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I like all this. This with this looks really good. The blue and the pink and orange. It matches up with all those colors that's in that paper. And then before I use these, I would decorate the outside a little bit more and embellish it and then I would probably either stitch around it or ink around it. So you guys go over and check out Rock, Roxy's weekly challenge. I'll put her hashtag below. And you can go and see what all the people have done. There's lots of people that are doing her challenge. Whoops, that little bow is still tied crooked. It's a lot of fun. It's just, you know, it's something different to do. And it's someone, you know, someone like her can teach you a few things by showing you how to do stuff like this. Because this is something that I would not have thought about, even though I've done something similar to this a long time ago. I would not have thought about it for now and, and using these book pages like this. Okay. There we go. That is, those are cute. I like them. I like these colors in them. So, and our timer is going to go off in a couple of minutes here. So, I'm just going to say that we got nine finished. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, eight finished was thinking I counted nine a minute ago. Three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. And I will definitely be making more like this. Definitely. I think they're cute. And you could, oh, she put a little piece of washi on the back of hers to hold the string on there. You could do that. That would be cute. I don't think she said that was something you had to do in order to uh, finish the project, but that was something that she did, and it looked cute. It held your string in place when you untied it. You didn't lose your string. There we go. All right. Okay, let's look at this. See what we got here. We've got a minute 18, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop it. And we got eight finished, and probably could have got one more if I'd have had my all of my paper cut out, and I didn't. So that's fine. I don't mind that. That's a lot right there to get uh, to get to use in our journals. And you know, you could put this in your journal like this. Glue this bottom down, have it, or either put washi here and have it be a flip. Then it would open up and you could tuck little uh, ephemera and things in there. So there's lots of different ways that you can use these. You can make them larger, smaller, but that is it. Okay, guys, that is it for Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I hope you give some of these a try, and we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.